All right, welcome to Big Ambitions. This game is about building yourself an empire. Um, the game will explain itself because I'm going to start a tutorial. I named my character Kevin Williams because my real name is Kevin. Uh, not Williams, though. Um, but yeah, I gave him a incredible physique here. I, if I'm going to make him more like myself, then I should do a little bit like uh, this. But I prefer not to be like myself because, yeah, nowhere near starting an empire anything anytime soon. So, yeah, uh, let's get right into it. And this is the tutorial episode. It's been three months since Grandma died. I know that I'm an adult now, that that I'm 18 years old, but still, it feels so scary that no one is there to take care of stuff. There's one good thing, though. At the funeral, my Uncle Fred asked me for my phone number. He said he wanted to help me get on my feet. I don't really know him, but I guess he's family after all. Hey kid, I hope you're feeling better. Anyway, I talked with a friend of mine, Richard. He's kind of a big shot. Well, the bottom line is uh, he has a cheap apartment that uh, you could probably afford. It's not much, but it'll do. All right, so we had our first text message from Uncle Fred. I think space pauses the game. I can move with the mouse. Yes, but can we also move any other way? Guess not. Let me see in the options quickly. Controls, move W, A, S, and D. It's not working currently, so I guess controller issue is it no it's not all right so it's going to be coming later in the tutorial I guess uh, 45 on third street right so just to slow down is shift this is 45 on third street daily rent is 44 bucks your initial payment is 1410 That includes the deposit and the electrical appliances that are already in there. Uh, we can review. So this is what the apartment looks like. Which is... I mean, for the first time, it's fine. For your first... And close. Sleep until full energy. But, oh, we do have a bed. All right. So we will wake up in the morning at around 6. At 6. Perfect. 6 a.m. Zero profit, zero businesses. Right. Full energy. Buy a standard. And uh, I also transferred a couple of bucks to your bank account because uh, I want to make sure you get something to eat, okay? Promise me. All right, I promise, Uncle Fred. So, buy a standard fridge from Square Appliances, place the fridge in your apartment, go to Elgato and buy at least three units three units of fresh food. Stock up fridge with fresh food and eat some food. Alright, well, I guess... No, I don't want to go into that building. I want to go there to Square Appliances and why are you sitting there? You know what? It's none of my business. It opens in at 9. Alright. Well, then we are just going to sit here and wait until... 8.59. Just relax for a bit. There we are. He wanted me to buy a refrigerator for 1800 bucks. Jesus. Please to order. We'll be waiting in line. Bye. And here we go. And we will be heading back to our apartment. So these buttons work. Why don't the WASD work? Right. It's okay, it's fine, you know. We can also... I like the animation here. <laughs> it's cute, it's fun. 
been removed or just hide the animation. We already passed it. Dang it. It's this one. 45 on 3rd Street. Uh, place the refrigerator in the kitchen, or what looks like the kitchen. Then we go to Elgado Food Market. Get that money. No, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go to Elgado anyway. It's okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Here we go, Elgato Food Market. Let's get inside. One, two, three. Oh, I need a shopping basket. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will just get ten of them, just to be sure. Place to order. Yes, there we go. Right. And we are going back home. Stock it up with fresh food and eat some food. So, basically, it's more like a real-life simulator. If you don't eat, you'll die. If you if you won't die, you'll just pass out. But, you know, it's basically a real-life simulator. You need to cool it, eat fresh food, go. Hey, kid. I've gone ahead and paid your first rent, but that's it, okay? You need to get out there and get a job. Anything at all. You just need a salary right now. Yes, I do. Continue working until you've earned 300 from your new job. Alright? As well as... Here you can see your happiness. Uh, these things improve your happiness. These things lower your happiness and... These are the risks that will impact your happy that will be the impact of your happiness reaching zero. There is a risk of entering periods of sadness, reduced employee happiness if you have employees, faster decrease of your hung hunger status and decrease of your energy status. So if your hunger is at a zero, you will be Consuming your energy by 200%, so twice as fast. And if your energy is at zero, you will be walking slower. You will be at risk of passing out from exhaustion. And you're, f you're faster to decrease the hunger status. You can sleep on the following standard bed, king-size bed, city benches, vehicles, and boats. So there's always a way to maintain it. All right, there were personal goals there, here. Run one successful business and stuff like that. It's basically getting the your route map going to the top, uh, to, to the top of the city. And we are in New York currently. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. It's my first. Day on the job. So we will go home. Why is this car here in this neighborhood? I mean, not that I mind, but it's not really. It's not really suitable to be here, you know? It's not really the neighborhood that you would expect one to be. Alright, we are sleeping until... Minus $44. Until 7.26 a.m. Oh, wait. We need... Set food. Here we go. And then set destination. Let's go. We need to work, currently. A 
Elgato. And start working. Came in early. Fast forward. Skip time. Might as well. I mean, it's not worth it to sit here and wait. And here we are. Uh, we made... We do not see what we made. We'll just go home. Today we're finished. We're still happy. Here we go. As you can see, my food and my energy are halfway, but yeah. Um, we will sleep until the next day, which will be 7.17. Here we go, $155. And we will get food. And we will get out of here. Back to work. Alright, I'm going to fast forward until we have the $300. I mean, it should be today. The end of today. And then we'll bring you guys back. There we go. You got a job. Well done. You're a chip off the old block. Just like your dad. I think he was probably just about your age when he started his first business. Look, if you need a loan to start something, I got a friend over at uh, Jensen Capital. His name is Larry, okay? That's who you ask for. And be sure to say hi from me, your Uncle Fred, okay? Hi from Uncle Fred. Who's Larry? I think it's you. Hi, I need a loan. How much can you loan me? I want 15,000 of maximum 75 square foot square meters in garment district using Google Maps. I see what you did there. Start a gift shop. Quit your job at the local supermarket. All right, confirm, close. Quit job. <coughs> and we have 21k. All right. Uh we are going to use a Google Maps retail our house is here uh, we have here right next to it open in Bisman what's it looking like it is perfect rent the building start new business gift shop start the business now oh, we need to name our business um Williams gifts I got my sh caps lock on. Gifts. Williams Gifts. There we go. Start the business. Hey, we got only 10% satisfaction. Customer capacity is zero. The building limit is 15. Right. Um, we have a 15 with a 10, 15 limit. Customer capacity limit with a traffic of 10, which is not ideal. Have to be honest. Who would this one be? Traffic of 19. Traffic of 29. Huh. Should have looked at that before. But hey. So, you're a gift shop owner now, huh? Yeah, very good. Very good. Now we've got some shopping to do. We'll get you some furniture and uh, some really nice products to sell in there. And uh, I also wanted to mention I uh, recently invested in a car dealership and we found kind of an old wreck of a car in the workshop in the back. But it still runs. It's not much. But it's yours if you want it. The key's in the glove compartment. Thank you. All right, I will go and get the car because it'll going to, it's going to help me quite a bit. No need to go to Elgados.
Where's the car you're going to give me? A Hansa Mimic. Uh huh. Is that how we do it? Right? Is this one? Is this one? All right. Ah, you found the car. Good. Now, don't get any parking tickets. As I said That's earlier, it's decision. time to pick up some stuff for your Bye. new store. You're gonna use your new car. Or continue car. running around with the hand trucks. It's up to you. This old beater. Alright. Parking is even... Parking is a pain in the, pain in the backside. Right. Um, AJ Peterson, we are going to get a hand truck. Then we need a. We need a, this one around the shelf. That's what he wants us to get. Uh, this one. Shopping carts. Gas register. And a camera. Oh, wait. We are full! Where's the... There we will check out. Place order. Ah, I was first. Dork. Alright, to the car. Stores eight. Jesus. It stores eight, so we will get another uh, binet with drawers, uh, mm. cabinet, cash register, stack of shopping baskets, and a rounded shelf. We have a rounded shelf. We have all that. Just needed cabinet. Thank you. Going to park the vehicle and talk with you. Hi there, how may we help you? Now, I'm going to decline this and take my hand truck. This just added her phone number to our phone so we can call them whenever we feel like it. I'm just going to park it there. Don't really need a hand truck. We have 24 hours per day to just do whatever we need to, so... I wanted to do a UE. And yes, I know that's Australia. And no, I'm not Australian. Park! go into my store. Ding dong. Here's the hand truck. Go. And we will go to the storage. Manage. We have this one, this one, this one, this one. You. You. This one, cabinet with drawers, we will place and put you around I think, really, put you here. It's like a gift shop layout-ish. This one, we will take around the shelf, place it there. And it's going to be cheap gifts, but that's later. Stack of shopping baskets. Place at the door. And the storage, the cash register. Put it there. Alright. Put the hand truck. Oh, very, very nice. Starting to look like a real store now. Next, yeah. we have to buy some things for you to sell. 
and for the time being, I have to go to a wholesale store, but eventually, down the road, you'll do a whole lot better by importing directly from the manufacturer overseas. Yeah, but that's going to be over time. You want me to go to Metro Wholesale, alright. Um, going to bite the bullet here. See ya. I do not prefer to go to Metro Wholesale, but it's okay. I prefer space to be a handbrake. Why do you send me here if it's not even open? Alright. I'm gonna go home though. This is probably in New York highly illegal, but what do I care? Sleep. Start sleep. Start sleep. Wake up at around eight. We made one hundred forty-two dollars. Oh wow! We need food. Perfect. was green, okay? He had no right walking there. Wholesale. We will take the hand truck. I would like a paper bag. Uh, cheap gifts. Soda cans. For the future, I would like to start selling soda cans. What's this? Clothing. Alright, clothing. Uh, salad, burger, fresh food, frozen food. Alright, this is how we're going to place the order. Yes, goodbye. Put it there. Put the hand truck. My own. Myself. And then let's go back to my gift shop to fill her up. the vehicle manage storage take the hand truck go this way manage storage why are we going this way you know what I'm not even going to not even going to 
We will put you in the back. Place you here. Place you here. Why are my soda cans not here? Where are my soda cans? Where did my soda cans go? Oh, they're there. Okay. Cheap gifts. Open up. Great work, kiddo. Start working. An Invisman schedule until eight it will be open also on Sundays. Right. Skip time. So eight. We have sold enough. Going home. Sleep. For what time did we open? Uh, my employees, this man, this one. What time did we? Did I say we would open eight? All right, we will. We work from eight till eight. So we open up seven thirty-seven. We made 700 bucks. So a whole lot better than... It was... William's Gifts. Go. Start working. Hello, I see you open the business in our neighborhood, Garment District. Listen, Junge. 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 Whatever. You're more than welcome here, but remember who owns this neighborhood. So don't get any big ideas. Choose! Because I think she's German. Start working. Fast forward. You know what? Let's go. Empty, empty, empty. Good. We almost sold out. So we are going into Bizman, this one, schedule, today is Saturday, tomorrow we will be closed. Alright, we will be closed tomorrow. We are going to sleep until... seven forty. Seven. 747. We made about $1,164. Perfect. Eat. Well, look at you hustling around and stacking cash already. I tell you, your dad would have been so proud. I think it's time for your first hire. And don't forget to take that course at the Business Administration School so you know what you're doing. All right? All right. Well, that does the first part of the tutorial. We got ourselves a place and we got ourselves our own, our first business. And I think uh, that's going to do it for today. I mean, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and of course the notification bell. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.